Hello, boxing fans. I'm James Smith from In This Corner from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, where primetime boxing returns to NBC. Saturday night, Keith One Time Thurman takes on the ghost, Robert Guerrero, Adrian the Problem Broner, in action against John Molina. Let's talk about this fight. What does Keith Thurman bring to the table? Um, you know, he brings a uh, tremendous punching power. Uh, as you can see, uh, he has a lot of knockouts. Um, you know, very intelligent in the ring, uh, you know, but one of the things is, uh, you know, I have that experience. I've been in with guys who are super fast like Floyd Mayweather. I've been in with hard punchers. I've, you know, mowed through different weight classes. Um, you know, I've been through so much stuff and so many different experiences. I I'm ready for this and I'm ready to take a, a full advantage of all the experience that I have and, and come and make it happen. What did you learn those 12 rounds with Floyd? Man, how fast he was. <laughs> Not going to lie, super fast, his reaction time. Um, but also, too, you learn about yourself. And, and, and one thing is, it's what you do after a loss is what makes you a great champion. And, um, you know, that's one of the things I did is, hey, you know what, I'm going to go back and just assess everything. And that's what I did. I assessed, uh, I assessed my, my, my fighting style, my hand speed, my foot speed, and just really uh, went, went in, in, into overhaul. I said, hey, you know what, there's something missing. I added in CrossFit. Um, you know, we made the adjustments we needed to make for, uh, to be ready for, for an actual boxing fight and not a CrossFit event. And uh, man, it, it's incredible. Uh, my, my hand speed's faster, my foot speed's faster. You know, the agility's just, just beyond, my reactions, everything's just elevated with it. And uh, man, I, I think it made me a, a better fighter and, and everybody's gonna see that Saturday night. Robert Guerrero will be a, a good test. Uh, what do you think of him? You know, I know he comes in shape. He comes to fight, and, you know, he, he likes a dog fight, which, uh, like how you just stated with the cooperation, you know, I believe it's that the punches are going to be there. The big punches are going to be there come Saturday night for me to land. That's why I am predicting a knockout for this fight. At the end of the day, um, you know I have the ability to box and move and score my blows and get out of there. So... I'm just really looking forward to this fight. You know, I know when he has me on the ropes, he's going to just throw punches and make it rough on the inside. I brought in the right sparring partners. I'm prepared for that kind of fight. Um, I'm looking forward to it, no matter if it goes two rounds, six rounds, eight, or all 12. You know, I think this is a, a great uh, type of event and platform for a guy with your bohemian style and uh, not to mention your what you do inside the squared circle because this will be an audience obviously boxing fans will be watching but because this is on NBC it'll be a whole different kind of audience are you excited about that I'm extremely excited about it I've been saying for the past few years going to any bar sit down buy a drink and watch what kind of sports get talked about boxing is not one of the sports that gets talked about but starting with Saturday night you know there's going to be a few sports bars that are going to be airing this fight. And, you know, all over the nation, there's just going to be uh, more people tuning in. There's going to be people, uh, the channel flippers, you know. And if they're interested in, in fights or they're interested in what they see because they see a good fight, you know, they're going to have an opportunity to learn something about Keith One Time Thurman. And it's really just an honor and a blessing, and I'm truly looking forward to this event. Man, I'm very excited about this opportunity. Uh, you know, being on network TV, I mean, it's incredible. Um, people are not just going to get to meet Robert Guerrero. They're going to get to meet the real Robert Guerrero outside of the ring also. Um, everybody knows uh, in the boxing world about my wife, how she battled cancer. Um, you know, she, she was diagnosed with leukemia and, and had to undergo a bone marrow transplant. And, and what I did to, to be by her side, you know, walked away from boxing, just completely walked away, vacated my title, left everything I've worked for my whole life to be by family, to be by my wife, to help her fight through the, through, uh, the rough times and get through the trenches of cancer and the chemos and everything, uh, the radiations and what she had to do. Um, you know, it, it, it truly is an honor to, to be able to expose that and, and to tell the story to the general public because there's so many people that are affected by cancer. And to be able to, uh, to get out there and let them know, look at my wife, she's five years cancer free last month. And for people to be seeing that on TV, there's somebody out there that's, that's wondering if they're going to make it through. And, and to see somebody like my wife who fought through it and got through it, to let them know, hey, there's light at the end of that tunnel. You can do it. I did it.
let's let's uh, get your uh, thoughts on on Saturday night. Let's start out with uh, Guerrero and Thurman. Well, first of all, it's a really significant fight because it's not happening in a vacuum. Floyd's fighting Manny. The winner will need an opponent. The loser will need an opponent. Now, obviously, Guerrero has already been in with Floyd and didn't do too well, um, predictably. But I think this is a very important fight and maybe even a little more important fight for Thurman because he's unbeaten and because so many people view him as the next great welterweight. So maybe he gets a, if he looks good enough, maybe he gets a fight with Floyd down the road. So it's a good style matchup. These are two legitimate top five, top seven welterweights. And their styles should mesh because one guy's a physical in fighter, Guerrero. The other guy's uh, more of an outside fighter, but with a big punch in Thurman. So I think style-wise, uh, whichever fighter gets to do what he wants to do, will win. Talk about this camp and your preparation for this fight. The preparation for this fight, I know everyone says it, it sounds cliche, but it was a, a great camp, great preparation. We're excited to get out there and do what we do best March 7th. And your opponent, uh, you know a little bit about him. Talk about him. The, the, the world loves to hate him. Uh, he's a hell of an opponent. You can't deny the accolades that he's accomplished in the ring. You can't deny that. Uh, he, he's a three-time world champion at a young age. That don't, people only dream of doing that. Um, but with that being said, all respect goes out the window once that bell rings March 7th. How much film have you, have you watched on Broner? Again, everyone wears a hat. Uh, my, my trainer, Joe Goosen, has, has watched a significant amount of film. He devised the game plan. i have be lying if I told you I didn't watch film. I watched film, and we're very well prepared and very confident going into this fight. You know, Joe is, is good at breaking guys down. What advantages do you see you having in this fight? Uh, my heart, my will to win, my punching power, and I'll be the physically bigger man that night. And how do you plan to take advantage of that uh, size and strength? Make it very uncomfortable for him. Very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, Adrian Broner takes on Molina. That should be a fun fight for the fans. And uh, we've seen Broner exposed by Maidana. Uh, hopefully he's learned from that. Hopefully he's maturing as not only a man, but a, but a fighter. What do you expect in that one? All I want to see as a fan is I want to see Molina hit Broner once. <laughs> because you know that John Molina, fighting the way he fights, he's going to be behind on points. You think? After the first round and until the fight's over. Okay, but if he can hit Broner, we know Broner can be hurt. We've seen it with Maidana. Um, Broner's good. He's, he's, a, he's a good boxer, and uh, he's, a, he's a favorite over Molina. I understand why, but you want John Molina is, is in so many ways what boxing's all about. It's one of the reasons we love the sport. Here's a guy who's lost a bunch of fights. I'd watch him any day of the week, so I can't wait for that fight. See what he can do. See if he can land the big shot. What does a, a victory in this fight do for you at this point in your career? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more of a known name now, given my dramatic fashion, the way I fight, how I fight, never say die attitude. But a, a win on this platform against a guy like Adrian Brunner with his name being big. I want to keep reiterating his name because what he's accomplished in the ring is amazing, but I don't want to put him up there in that Pacquiao Mayweather uh, stratosphere yet. Uh, if he, It's yet to be seen if he can ever get there. Um, but his name alone, the world loves to hate him, and a win over him, it, we've seen what it did for Chino Maidana, it'll do the same thing for me. First off, talk about uh, uh, what's going on with this camp and, and this fight on, on NBC on primetime and yes, talk about it. Um, you know what? It's a fight that I'm re really looking forward to. Not not so much on the, um, the well, yes, in the boxing side, you know, but so much more in the um, the event side. The event side, yeah. exactly. It's 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 a whole different thing. You know, the 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 walk in, the the arena. It's just different, you know. So if it's different, I'm thinking to myself, all right, so I got to do something different. So, you know, expect a different abnormalities. Expect a different type of style of abnormalities. Just expect the unexpected. You know, I plan to steal the show. I'm not only in there to, to defeat my fighter, but I'm also in there to, to steal the show and, and, and just win the crown. You know what I enjoy when I watch you fight is I see the warrior. It comes out. But you're also a very well-schooled fighter. Yeah, you, you know how to fight on the inside, fight on the outside. Are you as good as you're going to get, or can you still get better as a fighter? Get better. In, uh, what, in what respect? In every, every, in every aspect. Uh, you know what? Sometimes I go home, I watch my tapes, and I find people saying, oh, Abner looks spectacular, and I'm sitting there watching that to fight. Wow, I could do better, you know? And I know that. And, and that it motivates me, like, knowing that if people were, were pleased with this kind of, you know, performance I gave them, imagine if I were to give them what I know I could do more, so I'm just happy that um, I'm young and I'm still schooled and I'm still learning because it, it only lets me know that I could get better and, and I could get as far as, you know, just a spectacular fighter. And that's a key word, spectacular. I want to look spectacular in one of my fights. Expect to see Robert Guerrero to come and fight and give you guys a spectacular show because I'm ready to go. And I love this game so much where I pour all my heart and soul into it. And fight night, you guys are going to see that. Saturday night is going to be a great fight. 
I'm going to bring everything that I have, the right hand, the left hand, the uppercuts, the overhand rights. It's going to be a tremendous fight. Guerrero is a, is a dog. He moves forward. He's, uh, he's beating a lot of people that they thought he had no chance of beating. So I know he's confident coming into this fight. For all the fight fans watching, just thank you for your love and support. Stay tuned. And Saturday night, have that popcorn ready. Have your chips and dip ready. And don't blink. It's going to be a tremendous fight.